Hi, welcome to Beyond the Roll. I am your host, Dentium, and this is my good friend, Angel. She's been role-playing for a long time, almost as long as me. And, um, yeah, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, well, uh, like they said, I'm Angel. I'm really bad at telling people about myself, because I can never remember anything interesting when I get asked. Um, but I am old as fuck. I am female. Uh, I have two really cute cats. I've been RPing for what feels like forever, um, and I do the general nerdy things of like D&D, RPing, reading lots of books, I garden, and I teach. That's, that's, that's me. So it sounds, like you have... <laughs> it sounds like you have a lot of experience. How many years would you say? Uh, I think I figured it out. I've been like RPing about 14-ish years. It started around about 2010, 2011, so yeah, yeah, a long, long time now. Nice. Yeah, and you were mentioning um, D&D. Did you start at D&D or did you start with text-based? How did it all begin for you? Yeah, so I started with text-based. Um, I actually, weirdly enough, like, started RPing because I was on a, like, anime a uh, website for like watching anime and there's like this little like text box down there uh, for a site called Chatango uh which I'm sure some of you know well and uh ended up like clicking on there uh making a profile and then somebody like messaged me be like yo do you RP and I was like what what the heck is RP like what is it uh, and then sort of sort of like dabbled in it a little bit and then went from there and never really stopped <laughs> That's exactly how it got me, too. You just get sucked into that little chat box. <laughs> you do, exactly. I was like, oh, this is intriguing. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of RP did you start with? Were you just, like, doing some casual, like, sips tea? Or were you fighting people? Yeah, so it started off just the really casual, just, like, you know, like, um, adding, like, a little bit of RP to conversations just to, like, add more context and then uh, sort of evolved into storyline. I did a lot of storyline. That's probably still my favorite type of RP to do with storyline. Um, dabbled in a little bit of ERP. I think everyone dabbles in a little bit of ERP, especially <laughs> yeah. if you've been on Chatango. <laughs> uh, I, I have been combat too. Uh, it's not my favorite. I, I don't mind it. Um, I will do it, but it's, yeah, I've always, like, preferred the storyline. Done a lot of like horror RP, which was really fun. Um, so yeah, storyline probably did. I've never done horror. What is horror RP like? Oh, it's it's really good. For, uh, it depends a little bit on the people that you're doing it with. Um, but it's really really good fun. I enjoyed it. Like obviously, it's it's basically a story, and you have to sort of know who's gonna <laughs> eventually die. Otherwise, it can be awkward when you're murdering somebody else's character. Um, but no, it's it's really good fun. It's really immersive. Um, I had like a good group on Chatango where we did it um, of people. It was essentially like a, a big mansion, kind of based loosely off the song Hotel California. So we you could like go in, and then you got hunted down. You could never leave the hotel because uh, oh, that... the door kept moving. It that was must... yeah. It was it was good fun. I can imagine that, cause like in combat OP, you just you're fighting people. Then you've got your casual OP, you're just casual. But in like horror, it must be really thriller heavy. Like you don't know who's going next unless it's scripted. It's kind of like a fun game. Yeah, it was a really fun game. We uh, would either like roll a dice or like um, we had like a, a website on Google, honestly, where we would like put names in. Um, so like each sort of like scene or like a few days we would like do it so then we would know or like somebody would know that they were gonna die but like everyone else wouldn't know that they were gonna die it was only the person being killed who was told and obviously like the people doing the killing um so that was really fun and then we were like running around being like oh no this person got murdered ah <laughs> <laughs> yeah um which was good fun and like basically if you died you got to like become a ghost that haunted the uh the rp and you could go around you could either be like vengeful and like try and like help the good guys um kill off the bad guys or like most of them just chose to be bad guys too so <laughs> it got increasingly increasingly more dangerous for everyone um but yeah <laughs> that must have been so much fun i've never done anything like that before i'd love to give it a try if you could get a group together sometime i'd totally be down i would be 
Yeah, I'd be down for doing it again because uh, I haven't done it in a long time. Most people just want to do cute stories, which I'm down for too because cute, wholesome stories are good to do. Yeah, you can never get enough of the cute, wholesome stuff. Yeah. So you mentioned storyline. What kind of storyline did you do? Were you like in a kingdom or a clan or a family? How did that all begin with you? Um, so I've had like a few a few different ones. Uh we I had a clan like a while back. Uh actually with some RPs that I know and you you know too, like from like a long time back. Um, which was Clan based, kind of. It was so early on in it, but it hadn't really been a fully developed idea. It was just sort of being processed at the time. Um, otherwise, I've done a lot of like just like small groups, like maybe like one or two people. Um, did like a prison escape storyline. Um, just really cute, like romance storylines <laughs> uh, and like wholesome <laughs> stuff. I did a really fun one, which was essentially um, <laughs> two sisters who got isekai into like a different world and we went out exploring and trying to like survive on all this like plants that we didn't know what was going on it was like really silly <laughs> um, of like how it would affect you i think i turned blue at one point it was super silly and daft but like <laughs> stuff like that where you can just be creative and it doesn't really matter um <laughs> yeah things like that that's the best type though you're just having fun you're just exploring and enjoying the the act of just role playing you're just Making a story as you go. Yeah. yeah, and I like ones where, like, because, like, scripted is fun, uh, but I also like ones where it's completely not scripted, and it's just like, you know what, we're going to do this, and I'm going to throw a random curveball in, and then my RP partner's like, yeah, sure, and then they're like, actually, no, <laughs> and they give me one, and I'm like, oh, no, oh, oh shit, like, what's <laughs> happening? But, yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to get into story. As a combat role player myself, I, I lack in that department heavily. <laughs> So I always I admire oh, people well, who who main storyline because they just have more fun. I believe in general. It's so much fun. I will I will drag you in. <laughs> I look forward sure. to it. Do you have any yeah. RP memories? Any funny moments or bad moments or really impactful moments throughout your time? Um, I mean, obviously, I told you about my horror, the my favorite horror one. Um, I don't think I've really had very many bad RP moments. I think, like, like I said, like the site that I started out on, there was a lot of people only wanted to RP, and when I'm like, I'm not cool with that, they didn't feel like it. So maybe that would be like the bad moments. But in general, RP, apart from like feeling burnt out because I took on way too many to do, um, I haven't really had that many bad moments. I think in general, most of the community, especially like if you're not doing combat, is very like chill and peaceful and they don't really mind if like you know you need to take a break or whatever to um do stuff i yeah i think good memories um i, I met my boyfriend through rp which was really cool we both have that hobby together um yeah yeah i think in general i don't have any bad memories and i think most of my memories are good and like i said just making stories with people is so much fun and like even like looking back on them and stuff it's like oh yeah this is like a really good story that we made and like okay it ended like really randomly or we may not have even ever finished it but it was still like really inspiring and it's nice because i can then like add it to the backgrounds of my characters so my ocs especially my oldest ones got like really thorough backstories now just from all this like casual rp adding them to it stuff mm -hmm. yeah it's like making the stories and stuff and just meeting people and enjoying that experience it's definitely a good time always making the good memories and adding to the characters you mentioned that you met your boyfriend in op you want to tell us that story i do oh gosh <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> it was actually to my shame i was in like an erp uh server like not even for you just like to find new people because it, that tends to be the place where you have a lot of our peers and then you can like be like you know what do you want to do something wholesome and they're like no way yeah sure i'll do some wholesome stuff <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah i met him there and uh we got to talking and just yeah like really clicked obviously both enjoy writing he's like super busy so we don't get to rp too often but he also really enjoys like uh writing and like the story making side of it um, and so I was like, yeah, bonded over that, um, did a lot of RPing and stuff, and then, yeah, we we now dating. That's good, I'm glad. I don't know, not always... the most interesting story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's just the way it happens sometimes. You meet somebody, you click, and you just, you enjoy each other. 
it goes from there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, do you have maybe what about pet peeves? Any OP pet peeves, dislikes? Uh, oh no. See, I'm <laughs> I'm really bad when it comes to IP. I can get like not snobbish. That's not right. But like um. I really hate when people write in first person. <laughs> I, I know it's it's such a stupid thing to get annoyed about, but I'm like, no, 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 it's a character, it's not you, what are you doing? It should be in third person and third person only. <laughs> like, I've been known for turning down people because they do first person not be. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry to all the people who do do that. <laughs> I, I definitely uh, feel you there. As like, from my perspective, if I'm reading somebody's post and they're talking in first person, it can get confusing when I'm reading it in my head. It's like, that's not me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like you, I can't picture it as well, and then it gets, throws me off. But I feel really mean because, like, obviously, there's a lot of people who do do it, and, like, it's no shade on them. It's just my personal preference, but yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... That one. Definitely one that would irk me too. It's just my preference, like yours. Yeah. Um, I guess the other thing is like this is a bigger one. I think like if you've like put a lot of time and detail into writing a post, and like by no means do I think that everyone should be writing like novella length posts. Like I don't even want to do that most of the time because I just I just want to like get into the RP and keep going rather than like spend hours crafting one post that I'm gonna read. Um, but like. It, like, if I've written, like, a couple of paragraphs, at least give me that back. Don't give me, like, one sentence back. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I guess I'm going to stop putting all this detail in because you have, like, ignored everything and just been like, oh, yeah, my character walks in. I'm like, sweet, thanks, cool. <laughs> yeah, that one's definitely something that if you want to have a good OP with somebody, you got to at least show that you're putting in the effort with them kind of insulting if yeah, you absolutely. do one sentence it's you gotta keep up yeah 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 exactly and like i don't mind if it's like um like shorter ones especially like if you're just having like a conversation part of the rp like absolutely like it doesn't bother me if you're only posting like a sentences but like yeah it should be at least proportional i think like your response like i've always been like i don't mind the length of posts as long as we're being proportional to each other if if it's really one-sided that's a really Big pet peeve if I yeah I've dropped our piece for that. Yeah, that that would be understandable. I would definitely do the same if you know put it in that effort and then they do that. You just don't want to continue. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you did mention you do a bit of D and D. Do you just like do it mm. with the boys or like do you have a friend group that does it? Yeah, so it's actually uh, like my real life. Um, my offline friends, although ironically we now do it online, so I guess they've now become my online friends too. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we meet up once a month, uh, and we're doing a campaign. My ultimate bestie of all time, Emmy, uh, runs it for us. She's a really fabulous DM. Uh, she's made sort of this whole world um, that we can explore and stuff. It's fairly new the campaign that we're in at the moment, so uh, we haven't done too much. Um, I missed the last one because I was sick and I was reading up on all the notes and they seemed like they've got into absolute destruction and chaos whilst I was away. So oh, no. I'm going to have to get caught up all on that. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, a rogue that I'm using there. And um, out of all of them, she technically has stolen the most, yet somehow she is the least uh, thief, thief, thief there is out there. <laughs> but no, it's, it's, it's really, really good fun. Um, um, and it's nice because it gives you like another aspect of type of like role playing. Obviously, D and D's got like its set rules and stuff, but you have a lot of freedom mm. with your characters. I think it was like quite natural progression. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, how would you compare text based to D and D? Do you like D and D more? Like, can you maybe explain what you what you feel the differences are and what you prefer? Oh, that's a good question. Um. I think, hmm. so like I said, obviously D&D's got, I guess like more rules to it, there's like the dice rolls and things, so you've got chance that's sort mm. of in there, whereas with text-based you can like talk out and be like, oh, this is the outcome like I would like, 
uh, and like you can agree together that that is going to be the outcome or not. Whereas like in D and D, like you might be like, I really want to sneak through this room, uh, get past all these guards, and not get stabbed. And then you roll a dice, and it's a one, and you're like, well, I guess I just stomped through this room. <laughs> um, so you definitely have like that. I mean, that's also fun. I think that they've both got like pros and cons. So, like, yeah, D and D has more rules, so you. <sighs> I don't want to say you have less freedom. That's not necessarily right, but you... Sorry about that. Um, my internet decided to die. And so I was rushing to get back and set up again. But we're back and we're here. And I forget what we were talking about. I know. Back. Thank you. <laughs> I literally have no clue. Denti, I was just like, oh, I was too boring. Denti left. <laughs> no. Just like, God, poof. <laughs> I promise that um, wasn't it. Um... <laughs> Glad I'd be so sad. Like, oh, okay, I leave now. <laughs> I think it was something oh, about I... D&D. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So I was saying about, like, dice rolls and things. Um, oh, I wonder if it was, oh no, <laughs> when my brain is like a sieve and my memory just slips through it, um, story of my life, I think I, think I was gonna, uh, I'm, I'm so bad, it's bad, it's terrible, um, I think I was gonna tell you about the time where everyone else was fighting this like giant water elemental, because yeah, we had to rescue some dude that was like on an island, Mm -hmm. um, who later turned out to be super important. But in the meantime, we are just like, oh, a random dude, you say that. Um, so they're all, like, fighting this thing. I was like, I don't want to fight. So I was like, I'm just going to sneak, like, around the monster to get to the island and rescue the dude. And, like, the DM was like, you need, like, a like a really high roll to get that. Like, that's pretty, like, a hard thing. I was like, okay. And I rolled, and I think I got, like, a... And like an 18 or 19, she was like, oh, well, I guess she did it. So they're all still fighting. I just like sneak, you sneak, you sneak. I snuck the whole way, managed to like high roll my way all the way around to get the person out, got him out, and managed to high roll sneakers all the way back again. So like, <laughs> and then I was like, come on, why are you still fighting? Let's just go. I've got him. We don't need to kill this person. <laughs> and everyone was like, what the frick? <laughs> that was so they lucky. Gone so wrong. Yeah. It was really lucky. I, I could have gone so badly wrong. <laughs> Bet you the DM was like shaking their head, ruined my plans. <laughs> I know, I know. No, luckily she appreciates like good like when stuff like that goes, she she finds it funny, so she she doesn't mind it at all. I think we circumnate like literally went around one of her plots completely by just like look rolling past it and she's like that was the planned big monster for the day, but okay, I, I guess you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's what makes D&D &D unique, the dice rolls for sure. Because like with text RP, you write everything perfectly the way you want. But with D&D, &D, you have no idea how it's going to turn out. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that was a nice thing, like... <sighs> With, like, the horror stuff, like, because we did leave some of the stuff to chance, like, it was a nice, like, kind of meeting of, like, text-biased, but with that, like, lucky chance um, mm -hmm. added in, it definitely adds, like, a new dimension to it. It's, it's fun. Definitely. I'll have to try getting in on one of your sessions sometimes. It sounds like so much fun. No, absolutely. I'm sure I could do that. That'd be no problem. Um, you have any OP feats or achievements? Anything you want to brag about? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like I said, like, I, um, I mean, in the last horror RP I did, I was the only one who didn't go insane. I guess that's, like, a pretty, a pretty good feat. Everyone else <laughs> uh, managed to die at some point, and I, like, again, like, I, I'm weirdly lucky when it doesn't count. Like, I wish I was lucky with the lottery, because the luck that I have with dice rolls and things, it doesn't matter. And then, like, you know, something important, never won anything. <laughs> I'm the exact um, opposite. But yeah, no, like, I guess... Oh, really? <laughs> Every time I roll dice, I'm getting the bottom half. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've taken all your luck. <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll send you some back. Thank no, you. I am... Um, I think, like... Because I don't really combat, like, that tends to be the thing that, like, you, you have the most, like, oh, yeah, I, like, I beat so many people. Like, yeah, like I, I beat a couple of people. 
Uh, but mm-hmm. in general, it's just more sort of like chilled and, and laid back with it all. Honestly, that's um, that's just a fun thing in and of itself. Like, I am drowning in fights. And personally, I hate it. I do not enjoy it. But it's just, I get riled up and into it. And I would just like to go on an OP vacation. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll organize a horror RP so you can come do a horror RP vacation. <laughs> I'm not sure how relaxing it's going to be, but it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be okay. Just leaving the battlefield to get, like, stabbed in a swimming pool or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, like, you can be my big bad and then it'll be fine. <laughs> you can do all the stabbing. <laughs> Well, what else can we talk about relating to OP? Gone over your history, what you've done, some of your achievements of not going insane. Do you have yeah. any <laughs> any bad moments, any regrets, or anything you just wish you could change? Uh, hmm. I, like I said, like in general, I've had like a pretty positive. Um, so, like, mixed with RP, I think I've been pretty blessed with that. I know, like, I've heard some horror stories where, like, he's, like, I'm glad that I've managed to miss out on that. I think, like, the, the main thing is that, um, just, like, adult life. Like, my biggest regret with RP is that I just don't get to do it as often as I used to do. Um, just because, like, life gets in the way and I gotta pay bills, which means working. I don't have as much time to be as, like, creative, which kind of sucks. I regret, like... Not keeping in contact with some of the groups of people that I used to do it with, uh, just because of like life and stuff. Um, so like I missed them. Um, but yeah, like I think in general it's been a pretty positive experience. It's still a positive experience. I don't get to do it as much as I uh, would like. But yeah, I think I think that's probably like my biggest regret is just like not keeping in contact with some of like the old. Like I have some people that I've known for years, and I still talk to them now. But it's like not like actually get to like DRPing and stuff with them that we. Yeah, it's definitely one of the bittersweet things of growing up. You you become older, you get responsibilities, and the people you used to hang out with every day, you just drift apart because of life. It's a little sad. Yeah, absolutely. It is. And I think, like, I feel bad for some of the newer RPs. Like, I think that's, like, worth mentioning. It's like, um, not everyone, but, like, this RP is, like, have been around, like, as long as we have, and it can be a little bit elitist sometimes, where, like, <laughs> new people are trying to, like, get into it, and, like, I don't want to discourage people from the hobby, and, like, I know I said about, like, the one-liners and, <laughs> and first person and stuff like that, but I still think that, like, you should encourage those people to, like, engage with the hobby. It's a really fun hobby, and I think it's a really good way of flexing creativity and, like, working with people to create something. Um, mm-hmm. And like the elitism that where like some people can be like, well, no, you haven't been RPing for very long, or oh, you're not very good. And instead of like encouraging them or being like, hey, do you want me to like help you? Uh, they just sort of like kick them or step down. And I think we need to like, in general, like the older RPs, we need to get better at encouraging new people and like letting them develop and learn and um, sort of like get those skills so they can come up to that level not that you have to write lots as well like obviously that doesn't need to be a thing um but but like just helping them in general like break into it without being a snob i like like i guess even i've been guilty of it but i've been like oh my gosh this person's so terrible Mm -hmm. (laughs) that i don't want to rp with them but probably should be better at actually be like you know what hey like there's potential there's potential that everyone maybe let's like do something fun together and like help them teach them and stuff like that yeah definitely i even try when i can i can be pretty toxic and obnoxious at times in combat op i can admit to that but if i <laughs> like get good vibes off of a new role player and i beat them up because i'm super experienced and it's unfair half the time but I'll beat them up and I'll give them advice. I'll be like, hey, you could have done this a little better. Or maybe try focusing on this. And like, I'll I'll nudge them in the right direction. I try to at least help them. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, like, one of, um, she's basically my internet daughter, uh, Kiki. Like, she was super new to RP when I met her. And I'm so proud of her. Like, oh my gosh, the posts she writes now, she, they're so much better than when she 
first started. And like, she always like likes to say that I was like, constantly on at her. She'd be like, here's this post. And I'd be like, yeah, but the grammar. I can't read it because there's no commas or full stops. Like, go back, write it again. <laughs> like, I'm pretty tough. Um, <laughs> but she was like, oh, it's always worth it, though, because I bring you a post and I kind of made it better and you give like loads of praise and stuff. So like, yeah, I think there's a line of like, tell people where they can improve but don't like be an asshole about it um and like it's, it's really nice like it's really nice to see her like flourish with it and get better and then she gets really proud too which is really cute and i <laughs> just give her head pats i'm like yeah well done you did it <laughs> oh, <head pats. laughs> yes maybe she's one of your achievements and accomplishments you can brag about how you help <gasps> cookie get better yeah she's definitely and she, she's also I mean, it's all down to her own power honestly like She's done so, so well, and, like, she's put the effort in, so, yeah, I'm really proud of her. Yeah, I'm glad. It's definitely good to see somebody flourish. I've tried helping people in OP, but a lot of people, I'm going to talk to you guys watching here, if you want to get better at <laughs> OP, you have to put in the effort. I don't have the secret sauce to make you better. You got to dedicate some time to it. Yeah, no, absolutely, I agree. Like, it's worth it. it like it genuinely is worth it and like you know absolutely find someone who like say like you like really like their rp like so cookie she just like was like oh i like how you write rp and i was like yeah well i can help you Beth. um and like we got on as friends anyway so obviously it's a lot easier for me to like be like oi <laughs> rewrite this <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah like it's i think like don't be afraid to ask someone but if you do ask someone obviously please like then don't get upset with it. Like, they shouldn't be giving you criticism and knocking you down and not, like, be constructive. But if you want to get better and they tell you, like, how to improve, don't get super defensive over it because they're, like, ultimately trying to help you. Um, like, we know we want good RPs. It makes the hobby fun. I don't want it to die out. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Definitely. Well, um, I guess closing notes. Do you have... Anything in OP you would like to change or anything you would strive for? Like anything, you, any ambitions or goals? Oh no, ambitions and goals. I'm like the least ambitious person ever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, well, okay, now one of my goals is to set up a horror RP uh, uh, or like some storylines and drag you into that side of the, the RP world. That'll, that'll be fun. I might let you drag me into some combat to even it out. Uh, <laughs> um,. But otherwise, yeah, no, like, let's stop being elitist. Let's get new people in the hobby enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, just have fun with it and enjoy it because it's so much fun. Definitely. It's a little bit nerdy, but hey, you know, we need to use our imagination, otherwise it goes away. Mm -hmm. And I definitely think we need more role players like you because there's too many elitist people <laughs> nowadays. We need more just casual, fun, nice to be around people. Let's do it because it is fun. And like Alex said, I'm not perfect. I've definitely had my moments. So yeah, just be understanding of people and, and have fun and let's create stories together. It's really or like well, teach out each other. So fine. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. I've had a wonderful time and you gave me some insight on horror IP. I didn't even know that was a thing. And now I'm super like, I want to try it. I'm yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It's been really good fun. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome. And now, the floor is yours. If you want to announce anything, or you got any projects in the work, or you want to advertise, go ahead. The camera is all yours. Oh, okay. Well, uh, um, um, well, hello to my boyfriend, obviously. I'll make him watch this. I'll force him watch this. He will. <laughs> <laughs> um, otherwise, um, oh, shout out to my friend who's an artist. She's drawing my OC at the moment. Uh, like my oldest OC, she's doing a full like uh, character sheet for her. So Mina, if you watch this, thank you very much for making her look absolutely beautiful and gorgeous, and yeah, bringing her to life, which is like one of my favorite parts of having OCs and creating them. Um, and uh, other than that, um, yeah, no, I haven't got much going on. I'm helping a friend make a RP cafe, which is just going to be super chill rp um and that's about that's about it so yeah thank you for watching everyone keep watching all the stuff denti's awesome um, uh, yeah. thank you well that's it thank <laughs> you guys for dropping by this is the first ever filmed in vr chat episode of beyond the roll and hopefully it will not be the last
Thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Goodbye.